despite the fact that this heated debate has resulted in a $10 million lawsuit, which translates to about 16 million Canadian votes. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Rant. I'm Dan. Well, right now we're standing in the Much Music environment and we're going to have an in-depth interview with George Strombolopoulos. He won actually uh, Rant's coolest job of 2001. So make sure you check that out. It's happening right now on Rant. Uh, Nelly Furtado in an interview with uh, a radio station in the UK called Radio 1 has expressed some anger. Congratulations, you won uh, Rant's 2001 coolest, uh, coolest job in the entertainment industry. How does that feel? Third coolest job in the world. Okay, explain that then. Okay, number one, the coolest job of the year is to get paid to do nothing. Number two is to get paid to have sex. Number three, new music. I want you to just explain how you got started, outline your career so far for us. Just like a, a quick history? A quick history. Okay, uh, radio broadcasting at Humber College, took that for a couple of years, interned in Kelowna, BC at a rock station called The Lizard, where I hosted a metal show, uh, worked in the music department, and also to make money was a mascot for the radio station. I to Toronto and worked uh, in radio at The Fan, which is a sports radio station. And I started off as an operator and a producer, and then uh, turned that into uh, covering the NBA and eventually hosting uh, some shows there. Then I got a call to go to The Edge, which is a rock station uh, in Toronto. Um, did that for about two and a half years before I got a call to come over here to the new music uh, and uh, host the show here. When you went to school till now, uh, how has Much Music, your time at Much Music changed you? You know what? I, the thing about, about coming to a place like Much Music is it really depends on what you want to be. You know, are you, are you, a, are you a broadcaster? Are you oh yourself? Goodness. Do you want to be part of the system? Um, do you want so nice to you do your job? You. Right to You've got to balance it with doing what you believe American to. Music One thing I was going to ask you was, every artist that you interview or that you meet, um, even if you don't meet them, they all have something about them. Mm -hmm. There's always a message behind the music. There's always, whether it be political, social, you know, it's all intertwined. How do you, through the new music, how do you sort of try to portray that or attempt to portray that? You know, the new music is, is a bit of an oasis because we are the only show that does what we do now. You know, everybody talks about music all the time. Uh, what we do is we let the artists tell who they are. Mm -hmm. we, we, we provide a context and we go a little bit, a, a few layers beneath the surface. Uh, and especially when you listen to artists who have nothing to say in their music, you realize that as people, they have things to say. Uh, so you go underneath the surface. Uh, I think what we do is we don't really care about who produced this record and what studio and what guitar. I don't care. And nobody cares. You know, only guitarists care. You know, and future producers. What we care about is, what does this mean? The new music is one of the reasons I'm in this job. I grew up watching it. It's a show that I believed in. It's a show that introduced me to artists. It's a show that I knew didn't have to play that same old boring TV game. How would George describe George? Honest? Yes. Honest. And that's all I do. I don't do anything big. Point out the obvious, tell the truth. And every now and then, when you have to do something that people know is a commercial, you just kind of look at the camera and they know. They know. <laughs> Oh my goodness, can you believe it? Do you see that? He gets all the good uh, intros and everything. Because it's, it's George Strombolopoulos. George Snuffleupagus? George, George Snuffleupagus. It's about, if it's about us and the coolest job, one of the cool things about a cool job is the people you work with. Winning scoring titles is not nearly as fun as winning national titles is, right? And art. You need to surround, you need to be around people that you really respect, and it makes your job easier. So if I need something, I can go to Rick, and Rick can come to me, and there's no, you know, there's none of that crap that's like, you don't want to help people out. You do. You just want to be a part of a good team, and this job is really cool, mostly because the team is awesome. Give him a little hug. George a lot. He's a cool guy to work with. He's opinionated. He's articulate. Um, and he cares. He cares a lot. The trick to a job like this for me and for a lot of people is don't do anything but be yourself. And that's the hardest thing to teach somebody because they don't know what that means. It just, I don't know, do what you do. I'm no different on camera than I am off camera. It is a really cool job and, I'm, and I hope more people want to get involved in it. People walk up to me all the time and say, I want your job. Take it. It's the easiest job in the world if you're honest. If you're honest, I'm, I swear to God, yeah, I am. You gotta have it up here too. Well, yeah, you have to have a foundation. You can't, like I said, you can't teach people passion. You can't teach them the things that are unteachable. Anybody who wants a job, I just say go get it. Like, know something about music, please. If you just want to be on TV, that's awesome. Get a job at CTV. If you just want to be on TV, that's it. If you love music, come here and do the new music. Like, you know, it's and if you do that, you will be amazed at how every day you wake up and you love going to work, and it'll piss off the people in your life because you want to go to work. Because you love to go.